Our practice exercise 12.10 digit match. This is a pretty fun one. We want to write a recursive method digit match and it's going to accept two non-negative integers as parameters and it's going to return the number of digits that match between them. So read the rest of this. If you don't fully get it, it's a bit odd at first, but essentially we want to return a count of how many time the digits are the same. So like here, here, and here, we would return like four or however many that happened. We can see this example right here. It's pretty good. So let's start this out. It's going to be a public int and we are returning, uh, well, we're returning an int. It's called digit match and we're accepting two parameters, int n1 and int n2. So inside of here, there's a few things that we have to do. First, our illegal argument exception. And we're going to throw this if um, either of the two parameters is negative. So we have to check if n1 is less than zero or n2 is less than zero. If this is the case, we're going to throw a new illegal argument exception. Well, there's a few other conditions that we have to check. First is our base case. And that's going to happen when we have something like this that's really small. Notice how we line them up from the back to the front. So what we want to do is end if we have only one digit here, right? And the easiest way to do that is with modulus. Because with modulus, remember, we are returning the remainder. And if we take the modulus uh, with respect to 10 of it, that'll help us out quite a lot. So that's going to be our second case with the modulus. The first is just saying, uh, we have the, so we have an if statement, then we're going to have else if, and then we're going to have else if our n1 is less than 10, or if our n2 is less than 10. If either of these is the case, we are going to want to do a return inside of here. Now there's this new like return method I've been, or else if method I've been trying out. We're going to do it here. So inside of this one it is pretty interesting. We know that we are going to want to return um, a, a value, right? A value of one. We want to increment our return if it's the same digit. Like this one would not increment right here. But if this last one was five, this one was, we would want to. So inside of this else if, we're going to have a return where we check this. We're going to say if our n1 modulus 10 is equal to our n2 modulus 10, then we are going to, remember this is equal, then we are going to want to return 1. So we have to question, is this equal? We're returning 1, otherwise we are simply going to return a 0. So that's going to be this else if right here. Otherwise, you know, if we don't do this, if we have more that we need to do, we are going to fall into a different else if statement where we can take our n1 modulus 10 and we're going to set it equal to our n2 modulus 10. So what if they are equal? If they are equal, we are just going to want to return 1 plus and then we're going to have our recursion because we need to continuously go through this, right? So digit match. But since we've already looked at this integer, this last value, this last index, we are, need to, we are going to need to pass in our n1 and n2 again, but divided by 10. So we don't look at the same thing. So we pass that in. Um, if they are not equal to each other, so we're going to fall into this, we can just say else. Um, we're going to want to return just this right here. We're not adding one to it because, you know, it, it fails the equivalence right here. And so that is going to pass our test just fine. But there's a more efficient way, or not efficient way, but a more uh, compact way of doing this. And that's combining these two statements. And that's the same thing that we're doing right here. And it's pretty simple to understand, right? We know we want this to happen. And if it does happen, we want to return this. Otherwise, we are returning this. So what we're going to have is an else. And then if it falls into this else, we want to return. We have this check right here that we want. So we want to check if the last digits are equal to each other. And if they are, we are going to want to return one plus the uh, recursion. Otherwise, we are going to just want to return this recursion. So again, either of these ways work. This is a little bit easier to understand. It's a little bit more compact and kind of fun to work with. Let's press submit. And that'll pass 14 out of 14 tests. So that is how I would do this exercise 12.10 digit match.